I think they hit it uh, for the most part. Everyone hit it on the head, and they did a great job of the theme of, of how they relate, how they want to be seen, or you know, just or an essence of them, how they relate to their community, which is a, what the basis of all this was about. Uh, whether it's uh, Southern New Jersey lore, the Jersey Devil, or someone else is doing grapes, which you know reminds of Vineland or vineyards of Cumberland County, some wineries, someone else possibly a butterfly or, or thunderbolts, the, you know, the Mill, Millville thunderbolts. We tend to lose track of who we are and where we come from and uh, to get back to those basics is good. And if we don't know where we came from, maybe we can create a place here. And, and so it's all about, uh, I think, finding self-identity. But, so me saving cultural heritage is that. And then we tried to dovetail or incorporate this in with um, learning two things. We tried to do it by learning how to carve wood, wood sculpture. Um, you know, and, and that involved a lot. That involved uh, sharpening to a lesser extent, uh, tool control, don't hurt yourself, uh, the conception of the mind to the, 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 the piece of substrate, the piece of material in front of you, the piece of wood. Um, some, some individuals can, can, I'm not going to say painting is easy, but some react better to, to painting as far as to doing something three-dimensional, creating, relieving something out. And uh, in addition to, so when we were done, uh, it kind of, I, I took it in the beginning st strictly from a gilding standpoint, but it became more of a sculptural standpoint, I believe, and a theme-based. And the gilding is just the crown, it's the, it's the, the, the veneer, the overlay uh, at the end. So learning how to handle gold and, and to see gold and feel gold as opposed to just doing paint or other um, materials that they're putting as a final show on covering something up. So to learn to gild, but I think it gave everyone a, a good feeling of um, putting their mind in perspective, what, what they mean to the community, how to carve wood, and uh, the gilding process.
just, just we can get in here. Cut this into really small pieces and try to put on there, but you know what? It's not worth the time. This is only $120 a book. Okay, so we're going to put a lot of extra you can move around. <laughs> Different philosophies. Some people say, oh, I just want to put each little piece down, and oh my god, they'll, they'll have hours doing this. So, so lose 10, 15, 20 dollars of gold, who cares? Okay, and you got some gold here you can piece in. Let's just see if we got one more one piece to get his head. Uh, my name is Jose Alvarez. I'm a senior in Millville Public School District. My name is Courtney Simpkins. I'm in 11th grade and I'm in Mr. Daniel's second block, Advanced Art. My name is Isis Dominguez and I'm a senior this year. So the process when making the low release sculpture was we drew out ideas first and then we sharpen tools, we carve things, um, mostly carving a lot, and then we did the gold leafing and painting. He wanted us to choose something from our heritage as one of our pieces on the wood, and then we went straight to carving it into the um, wood blocks, and then from there we gilded it, we sanded it down, and we painted it and covered it in gold. Every Buddies was really interesting about like where their idea came from when thinking about things for Cumberland, Cumberland County or wherever they grew up. I come from a very Hispanic background in Puerto Rico. Um, I chose the sun and moon god as my piece to carve it into the wood. It's really just mostly about the statues in uh, Puerto Rico. There's one spot in San Juan um, Puerto Rico that you will see all the statues of the sun and moon god and that's what really just called to me. The significance was for Philadelphia because I'm always up there and my mom's side and my family lives up there and my grandfather always used to go outside and feed the birds. So I found one of those little ones from the internet and I incorporated that into there. You have to have a lot of patience for the carving because it's a lot and also like the carving was the longest part of it. It was the hardest part of it. It's a lot of, I, I must have heard the phrase like going with the grain like 10,000 times. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun though. Like it was an experience. Like I said, I like rushing things. So I tried like getting through it so I can get the project done with. 
but yeah, I lost a foot and a beak a couple of times, <laughs> a couple of times, but it came back in the end, so that's okay. I would take into consideration like the time that we took going into it slower and like checking out what we wanted to do first and then going through it because Mr. Perry did say like take your time trying to figure out what you actually want to do. So that's something I would take with me. I enjoyed a lot of it. Like the carving put out a lot of my stress. It was much like fun to carve out a lot of stuff out. My worst part of it was getting cut so many times. Um, another stressful part was, like I said, the gold, because when you lay down that one layer of the solution and then you put the gold on, it starts sticking to it and then it starts getting messy. But some good parts were that the gold did look good and then the paint in the background brought the gold out a lot more. I would definitely try it again because I think it was like, it was, an experience. It was fun. But um, the gold leafing is probably something I'd like to incorporate in other works of artwork. I would definitely do it again. But I've learned a lot of patience with it because it comes time and uh, trials to go through it. Uh, it takes a lot of patience to get through it as well. Like going through all the processes from uh, carving it to painting to sharpening the tools. Mr. Perry is a a really good guy like he'll help you out and the whole experience in general was just different because I'm used to painting and I'm used to drawing but wood carving was a lot different because you had to use actual tools you had to sharpen them which was a pain and it, it was it was a fun experience in general and I really hope other people try it with Mr. Perry because he's a really good guy. Uh, I would suggest people to do uh relief portraits it's the best thing it just releases so much stress and it puts all your uh, embodiment into it